guys welcome to our channel i'm Seho. i hope that you're going to enjoy today's video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe hit that notification bell let's hop right into it what are you doing today okay is that what you're collecting this grass for mm. Cauliflower where we're standing. Where we're standing. And broccoli here. Yeah, this one. So a lot of times you plant things and they die. It's because there's <laughs> a, a, a little bit of water uh, to stretch. But this moringa, because it's near these beds, that's why it's doing well. <laughs> because it's near these beds, it's a bed in the front of the house. It's getting well watered. Okay, you're raking with a digging fork. Yeah. And uh, here, Amon has put onion. The onion that was at the back. The red onion. The seedlings that I showed you in the other video. He has put them in here. So that's the onion bed going there. So yeah and then we've got what was this oh it's still got leaves yeah. is this that one of the apples yeah. okay it also survived because it's near the vegetable bit it survived because the dogs didn't dig it out the dogs didn't dig it out so the luna the new dog has broken off um she has broken off 20. these are black jack some of them are probably black jack i don't know no kalaloo she broke the head of the papaya tree and the head is where the fruit comes out from anyways and this is red cabbage it's doing better yes. than the one at the back. Yeah. It's doing better than the one at the back of the house. Yeah. And then what? This is the chamolia, yeah. the one with the leaf like a flower. The the one that you said is viscous. No. Same as the one at the back. So it's always good that when one finishes, you've got another one, and mm. you keep going like that and i hate to walk under this jojo tank stand <laughs> and what type of is this beans is this a squash That's beans. this is beans which type Green beans. they have a the bigger leaf reminds me of a squash leaf Ancho Kanyala like loco. Loco is clear it's a bean. And then when it gets wider here, I'm like, what's going on? Mm. These are green beans. Yeah. Okay. There is a squash. Yes, I see this. Is this a, a 20? The green squash. Mm -hmm. Zucchini. Yeah. Baby Maros. That, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, hold on a sec and then this is the Charlotte. the spring onion spring onion cute little bit show you that way and your what is this <laughs> this looks like a chamoli yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on with I'm this it for, for for okay Oh my word. So a while ago, 
Amon planted these and they were totally forgotten. <laughs> because of water as well. Yeah. And um, now that we're, we're definitely more whole food plant based, uh, we've been. Now, now Amon is intentional to, to nurse them. Yeah. 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 He's been harvesting some some beans from here <laughs> they will survive at some point yeah. they will thrive i can see that they they've got some beans between the pots this one is going all the way i hope this for them to wrap around all the fence and become food and become hedge the hedge that's good That one is looking a bit healthy on the top. Yeah. They're yellowish because they were not watered because there wasn't enough water to go. This is one of them. We should yeah. be careful of black jack there, otherwise you're gonna be covered. But this one is closer to the bed, it gets water so you can see. It looks better than the others. It looks very fair. Okay, so he's showing me that he planted the beans in these other holes. So we had a shoo shoo here, it didn't make it. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> they didn't make it. It goes all the way to the end there. Yeah. I see the one the one there has grown. Whenever where are you coming from? You've been sleeping. Who? Oh, in a little. <laughs> I found her there. Like you hear people talking and you get curious. Okay. I'm in the middle of sweeping the house. The Believe trick. it or not. I left the rubbish by the door. The trick with this thing is like a small garden. Yeah. Keep weeding. Keep making the ground so. Amon is telling me sweet corn is ready to be eaten. When are we eating it? Uh, we like this, one, eh? yeah. <laughs> this is not ready. I might be wrong. Huh? It's looking good. Look at that. You've already harvested. No, I haven't. How, Amon? How? How, Bagit? How? <laughs> so, no, this one is ready. This one is ready. You might ready. as well pick it up. I'm going. This one is ready. This one is ready. Oh, good. I know I showed you guys this garden, but um, I just wanted to take you to the broccoli. Literally, in like two days after I showed you. Even the lettuce, wow. Even the lettuce. Even the lettuce. Yeah. Anyways, a cold salad in winter. <laughs> it's a pity it's the only time really the lettuce thrives. I wanted to take you guys to the to the broccoli. It's come out already. It's amazing. This is like two days after I posted the video. It's so funny. There's other crop where farmers always say, when well, once they're ready, you can't go on holiday. And baby marrows are part of that. You find everything overgrown in the garden. These are still small. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. Let me get out. Let me get out. And the tsunga over there is also looking great. Looking great. Mm -hmm. 
so we were blessed with this lettuce by our neighbor by the way Amon was just saying he's the one who gave him the lettuce but I was laughing just now is that he doesn't actually eat it and um <laughs> i don't know if i should tell that story if i'm going to expose myself um uh, um the boss his boss requires him to keep certain crop on the ground and she doesn't live near here because um she wants her garden to look good <laughs> yeah. although she's not available to eat the crop so he keeps trying to explain that he doesn't eat certain of those things that he's required to plant. And by the time by the time uh, she comes again to her house to come check on it, the crop that he would have planted, it would have been either time to eat it or it will no longer be there. But anyways, uh, it is funny. But <laughs> we're blessed with lettuce this morning. So he eats some of the crop. He eats like your chomolia and your rape your tsunga are uh, uh, the normal green leafy vegetables that we cook as africans that he eats but things like beetroot lettuce he just plants because he's required to but <laughs> there's no one at home to eat it so that, that's how come he gave this to us nice My head is spinning. Mm, So sweet corn can deceive you, um, mostly African maize, they say you have to watch this thing, when they dry, when they start getting dry and getting black, means the maize is ready. But with sweet corn, I think it's easier for you to watch the tassels uh, of the thing. When it's dry, you know it's ready. Like this one, you know it's not yet ready because the tassels are They're still, still fresh. They're still fresh. This is more fresh, but even this one, if we're using a uh, metal, we have this one out thinking it's not yet done, but I think this one is done because of the, the tassel. Mm. So, are you taking it? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's. <laughs> no, I had something to drop. We have naughty dog. And one of them is a hunter. He's the chicken hunter. Still four months old and eating eating chickens. So if she if she meets if he meets a chicken it's it's, it's over. Yeah. The yeah, other day the other day he caught a bird and all I heard was crunch crunch. <laughs> and he's got baby teeth still. I think that's enough. I'm noticing that your jalapenos are not happy. Yes. They're diseased. Mm. What got to them? I don't know. Whatever got to my hydrangea, probably. No, but it's not the same thing. So my hydrangea has been suffering from a disease. I'll show you just now. And um, I basically <laughs> removed a lot of leaves from it. It's affecting even the 
the... Oh, help me out with the words. The rosemary. The rosemary. Yeah, but the rosemary could be just lack of water. Uh, but it's never... It's got the same spots that, that the, the jalapeno has. Should preserve some seeds and replant it. What? Jalapeno. Yeah. Alright, let me take this to the house. Alright, May is harvested. May is harvested. Harvested. May. <laughs> I like to sing about everything. Guys, this is uh, the hydrangea. You see this powdery thing? It's actually a disease. And um, we just don't have a, a spray for it. Um, so what happens is that it transfers. It always gets to the newest of leaves. You can see these baby leaves are getting it. So it it gets to a point where the leaf actually gets dry. Sometimes it gets dry while it's greenish like this. And when you when you squeeze it together, you hear a crunchy sound. Um, so the treatment is either you spray it or you remove the leaves that are diseased so i try not to get it completely naked <laughs> i i move i remove a few leaves at a time like you can see the new fresher leaves are coming in so before they get the disease i try to remove more leaves that's kind of how i did it the last time i did it last time and then it recovered i'm praying that it's going to recover well because it's still the only one that we have uh we started with two and the one died straight away it never survived so we've tried to replant this in another pot it still hasn't picked up so we don't want to lose the plant completely so i'll show you a video actually i had recorded when i had recovered it the last time but um yeah we've moved it to another section of the yard just because we felt like it's picking up the disease from something that's the, the the wind blows the direction of where it was so yeah like this rose here i completely stripped so this rose here also had dry leaves and i used to think dry leaves were from uh dehydration then i started to notice that the newest leaves that are coming in are also coming in dry and that's when i figured out it's a disease so it's not really <laughs> the best time to strip it um uh uh, flowers always bloom and shoot leaves easily during rainy season but but you can see a new branch is gonna come there so you know what i just thought you know what let's just do it and then when the new leaves come in they come in fresh The rose that my mom gave me ultimately um the, recently it ha it was it had gotten more new branches it was looking bigger it had released another new bigger flower and then within a couple of days i saw it looking sad i tried to water it and in any case i was watering regularly because i water with kitchen water and then um it just didn't recover so then i saw that uh, something ate the root because it was broken the root was separated from the plant at the bottom but anyways um these ones are the ones that Amon bought me <laughs> last year. Yeah, last year on our anniversary. And they, because we didn't have a rainy season, the, the first ones that he bought me shot up during rainy season. So these ones are still small, but I do harvest them. Every now and then I harvest the roses for the house. <laughs> Even though I get a couple of roses, one is, sometimes one rose like now, sometimes a couple of roses. I do have them, but that's the thing they say about roses. If you don't trim, trim them, they don't uh, grow nicely. So, yeah. And then there's this one that had died when I had gone to Bots. And I've been good about watering it as well. And it has recovered nicely. It had uh, two more long branches that I harvested recently for flowers in the house. So, yeah, they're coming up nicely. Yeah. <laughs> There's a tuna salad loading here. Mm. Oh, this one is not the best because mm. it's not the chili one. The chili one. The chili finished. one we ate, was adding some flavor. Some Maybe flavor. I should add in some chili in that one. 
Mm. It's funny. These were actually not bought for home, but we're now having them. Um, I was noticing that it's in oil. So the oil ones are good for for the, um, for the salads and the even for the um, uh, sandwiches. Yeah, makes them tasty. The watery ones are not tasty. However, oil is something that we've been taking out of our food. Fish oil is good. Fish oil is good, but do you think they packaged it in fish oil or in other oil? Nah, I think they'll package it in some oil. I think so. Mm -hmm. Anywho. We're yeah, eating our, our homemade uh, cucumber pickles. These have got so much flavor. The other day, there was there was a week where Amon made this balsamic, uh, the, the salad had balsamic and it has the it had the pickled cucumbers. It was so full of flavor, but it had no meat. I mean, it was so yummy without the meat. Mm -hmm. I was a bit blown away. There's no that flavor, I think. But tuna salad makes me bite, bite my tongue a lot of times. This is what makes brings in the flavor. I'll be looking for the meat and I'll be eating first, then I'll bite my tongue. <laughs> so this... I, yes, we know you love your pickled onion. This pickled, it was pickled in balsamic vinegar. Oh, really? Mm, I pickled them with... No, I'm not fully balsamic, but a little bit of vinegar. And you mixed. And then I mixed, yeah. But they bring in this flavor in the... And then those ones, they just add in this sweetness. Mm. That if you chase Anna with it, it blesses your, your mouth. It blesses your mouth. How <laughs> many like things? Yes, my mouth makes it. <laughs> mm. Therefore, I've got a license to like this. Anywho. I'm noticing the golf bag in the kitchen and I'm wondering when did it get there? How did it get there? Maybe I wonder when the same one. Isn't that a lot? You're dividing. Mm. <laughs> take from that side, take from that side. Mm. Anyway, fast forward. This looks absolutely scrumptious. Tuna salad. We should call it not your average tuna salad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. Bye-bye.